Does everybody have a lot of money that they are ready to spend for presents for people? I hope the answer is yes. Yeah, for yourself. Because you're going to be learning more about how to utilize that money. Actually, uh, what we're trying to say here is that we pulled this stuff together based on various sources. Unless we tell you otherwise, we don't have any personal knowledge of these things, whether they work or don't work or any of that stuff. Uh, we have hot links on all the things we're talking about. So I think what we'd like to do is go through, we have about 60 or 70 different items on here, different price points. Uh, go through them all relatively quickly. You know, if you see something that piques your interest, once we get done, we can go back, pick it up, jump on the hot link and talk about it and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, so uh, the other thing is some of the products not standalone, like uh, there may be like a, uh, it needs a base station, needs batteries or something like that. Who knows? We can talk about those things. And I, we have some uh, prices in there that are just prices I picked up. Oh, we picked up rather. Uh, looking looking at the items on the internet, they may or may not be the real price today, but they're probably going to be pretty close. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea. All right. So we're going to talk about stuff under 50 bucks, stuff under 100, under 200, over 200, some other options, and then a couple of interesting uh, resources, and then references and where we go, where we got the stuff, so you guys can uh, look at the stuff yourself. So let's start at the bottom. Uh, USB keychain charger leather tassel. It's a decorative tassel that uh, can be used. Has, happens to have a USB uh, cable in, included in it. No big deal. Kind of easy. Uh, a Lego Technic Bash building kit. It's a uh, little Lego car that can be built using standard Lego parts. Uh, tile made. Tile is a product that is used for uh, locating things. You can take a small device. It's probably about an inch square. Mm -hmm. You can put it in your luggage, you can put it on your dog, put it on your kids, do whatever you choose to do, and it communicates and lets you know where that item is. So what is the $25 for? The tile itself. So there's no, no monthly this, fee after that? This software. I don't, I'm not sure we can, we can, okay. we can look at that. No, I guess my question was, if, if I want to attach it to 10 items, Wait, do I pay I'm $25 10 oh. times? No, I don't want to, I, I prefer not to do this, Bob, because uh, otherwise we're going to get... The price okay. We'll okay. Get okay. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Just click on that. We'll come back yeah. to that later. Yeah, we're going to come back. So how, big, how big is it? About an inch square, I think, and maybe a, a, a eighth of an inch deep. That's my understanding. I'm not sure. I... What's the range on that? I don't know. I don't, want to, I don't want to get into the details of these okay. things because there's a lot to cover, okay. and we'll have to see where there's interesting. Uh, Rob Power USB wall charger is uh, a wall charger, all that stuff with uh, different... Uh, mm -hmm. um, Capabilities. The only thing I'll say about this is I have a uh, Rav Power uh, Qui charger for my phone mm -hmm. that I use, which is the kind of uh, charger where you just put the phone on it. You don't have to plug it in. Mm -hmm. It's a near field charger. It works great. So they're they're a pretty reputable uh, firm. Uh, a Mommy Power stroller <laughs> hook. It's a uh, power bank that can hook onto like a stroller or something like that, so that as you're walking with your kids or walking with anybody, you can hook things on and and uh, it'll charge your, charge your device. Uh, uh, the anchor power core is a typical brick, a battery brick that uh, people have seen. Anchor is a pretty good company. They have a, a good reputation in terms of uh, what they're looking for and what they do. Um, and the Philips wake up light, it's a sunrise simulation alarm clock. It actually, it's like a Philips hue that changes colors. This changes colors as you get up, so it gives you a, a little uh, easier in terms of waking. Mm -hmm. And I think you're on. Okay. I, a you lot can, of what... You can talk and I can, I can push buttons if you want. Yeah, a lot of what's going to be in the next uh, section, what did we lose? You? Ah, HDMI cable. Um, let me see if I can get out of the way of not making a shadow. Okay, I, a lot of what's in this group goes uh, under the classification of things that are Internet of Things and home network connected things. So I, we have the Wemo Mini Smart Plug, which will work with most of the smart home controllers, Alexa, uh, Google, 
and I, I don't know if that one works with Apple, there's one that does later on. There's also a smart light bulb, and these are controlled remotely, and I, this is a vintage Edison style, and I, it's dimmable, and I, because there's remote operation, you can use it for security lighting like you would in a house, and instead of having to have it random or programmed, you can just, uh, from wherever you are, tell, tell some of them to turn on and some of them to turn off, dim them or brighten them. Anyway, I, the Wisecam 1080p HD indoor wireless smart home camera is one of these webcams that you can use to uh, check out what's going on in your house. And uh, this one, uh, you have to use the Amazon Echo because it's controlled by Alexa. So it is part of that Amazon ecosystem in your house. Mm -hmm. Then there's the Google Nest Mini, which is a smart speaker, and it can serve as a smart home hub, so that's in the Google ecosystem. If you happen to have something like a Nest thermometer, that would be part of that, a thermostat, rather, that would be part of that. It's the entry level there. They have more expensive ones. Uh, the Roku streaming stick is something which can be uh, used with high-definition televisions and it turns an ordinary TV pretty much into a smart TV with streaming capabilities. Uh, and of course, each of the streaming services requires a subscription, or at least most of them do. Mm -hmm. The Amazon Echo Dot is the entry level uh, Amazon smart speaker, which uh, people know a lot about, and you can use it to control other IoT devices. Then the Nanda Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor. That reads off the codes in your car and tells you why if you have some maintenance due and it tells you what might be wrong you can use it for diagnostics but what I've been told by some car mechanics is if you read some of the codes in some cars they erase themselves while you're reading them so that your mechanic won't be able to run the codes mm -hmm. quite possibly is there some that depends upon the device you use. Some, some, some yeah. do and some don't. This one, I don't know. I, so the rest of this is also some of mine. It's yours, yeah. Okay. I, the Parrot by Mambo Fly Drone. I, it says you can get a drone that you can customize before taking to the skies. The Mambo Fly's smart block system allows you to customize your drone, and there's an included clip attachment. It's good for taking photos of your friends when you pilot the mini drone. Now, one thing about these inexpensive little drones is they don't do a good job of stabilizing themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, users who have reviewed them have complained they're not very good for trying to do things like take selfies. Mm -hmm. I, there's a MakeBlock M-Robot kit, and the M-Robot is, I, this is meant for young people, kids, I, in grade school to middle school age. It has uh, a certain amount of programming available through a block style programming language. Uh, it's similar to the MIT Scratch language, which people may have heard of. Uh, this one, I don't think you can do anything much more advanced with it. Uh, it'll do obstacle avoidance, line follow, and things of that nature. Uh, there's a JBL Clip 3 waterproof Bluetooth speaker. The JBL speaker is ultra portable, ultra rugged, and waterproof. And it's small, and it's got a supposedly a good sound. So uh, who's next on this? Keep uh, going. Keep all right, going. the Thermoworks Classic Superfast Thermopan. Where's this uh, me? What? This me? I don't know that it might not, it might be. I. Uh, Let's go back one Yeah, you're supposed to be. No, you're going. Go ahead. This is up to $100. You're good. This is the last you, one. You want me to do that? Okay. Yeah. All right. I. It's not the way I've got it, but you can do it. I. Uh, all right. The Thermopan is a professional tool originally designed for commercial kitchens, uh, labs, and manufacturing plants that had become a top consumer cooking thermometer for home use. Uh, is, is that in, in Good morning. Could the owner of a gray Sienna license ANR337 please come to the front desk? Again, the owner of a gray Sienna license ANR337 
I can do these. They were supposed to be me. I can do it if you want. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't know exactly how this one uh, works, I, whether it's an infrared or something else. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, this does not, this is this is direct insert. But uh, we'll, again, we'll go to the. Uh, come on, guys. What did I do? What did we do? Hey. Technology, come on, work. <laughs> anybody anybody know anything about technology? No, not really. There we go. It was the wall. It was the wall, all right. Oh, two for two. Uh, <laughs> but so the phone's in? Yeah, but... Uh, well, somehow you're off by a little bit. Excellent. <laughs> Screen ratio. No, that isn't it. So we'll just close this. Yeah. Close the tabs, close that, and we go down over here, and we'll do this, and we'll do a slideshow. Better? Yeah. Yep. All right. There we go. There you go. Wonders of things. Um, <laughs> anyway, not to get into it, it's just a, uh, a digital thermometer that's used in, used in cooking. There's a, there's a million of them out there. This one happens to have a relatively high, high rating. Uh, Nintendo and, and Switch. very expensive, so it must have more to it. Uh, it's how fast and how accurate is why, is why it's expensive. Mm -hmm. That's my assumption. Again, I don't know. It may, it may be overpriced. I'm willing to go there, too. Uh, Nintendo Switch Ring Fit Adventure is a uh, Nintendo game type thing that uh, is also a uh, exercise tool as well. The Top Vision Mini Projector is a smart projector. And it's a home center experience. It's kind of small, compact, good for people doing uh, presentations that are portable. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bose SoundLink micro, uh, micro portable outdoor speaker is exactly what it is. It's a uh, one of those uh, small micro speakers that uh, Bose puts together. Uh, before I forget, apologies for the uh, the links because they're links. They don't format as nicely as you'd like when you put them in a uh, in a cell on the table. Mm -hmm. So they they break wherever they want to break. So. We'll just go yeah. from there. Uh, the Muda Smart Home Fragrance Diffuser is uh, an aroma device. Comes with cartridges, packages, uh, different kinds of uh, aromas that come with it. It's electronic and all that good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. High quality fragrances, of course. Uh, IoT. Pardon me? What's the IoT feature about it? Don't know. Okay. Uh, the it Mophie juice is your mood. Right? Yeah, that's the right, right. Flavor. It tells, it tells you what mood your significant other is in so you can accommodate. Grumpy. There we go. <laughs> the Mofi Juice Back Access uh, wireless battery case is another uh, wireless battery charging um, mm -hmm. product. And okay. you can jump. Now the Fujifilm Instamax, uh, the Instax Mini 9 Instant Camera is an actual film camera. The current Polaroid offering is digital. I, so this is one where you actually have to get film, and you can get party packs and various kinds of packages of film, and it'll instantly develop just like the old LAN cameras. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next one is a Logitech K780 multi-device wireless keyboard. This one uses smart Bluetooth technology. Uh, there's a thing called Bluetooth LE, which uh, allows the keyboard to pair with different devices, up to three different devices, and they can be iOS, they can be Android, they can be Windows, uh, and uh, the keyboard can track, all th uh, can track all three at one time. So you can switch off depending on which device you want to use. It can pair, uh, it is automatically paired. And with Bluetooth LE, I, the latency in actually connecting or so-called pairing is very, very short term. It, it's very quick. So instead of taking a few seconds to find the keyboard, the device takes maybe a few tenths of a second. You'd hardly notice it. I, La Roche, I, Pose My Skin Track UV. I, this is uh, just sort of like those badges that they used to use for detecting radiation, only the radiation it detects is UVA, UVB exposure. So it can tell you how long your skin has been uh, exposed and what intensity, and uh, so you can hopefully avoid a sunburn. <laughs> so this is something you take to the beach. 
Yeah, you would wear it around your neck. It has a cord, a lanyard. Or in the shower, wherever you choose. And you wear it. Wear it. You can wear it indoors because there's UV from eye uh, from eye uh, fluorescent lights. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, Campac mm -hmm. X twenty four K action camera. I uh, this is a cheaper alternative to a GoPro type of camera that you would I uh, take with you in the field, and uh, you might be able to. Uh, hitch it up to a helmet so that when you're riding on your mountain bike you can film all your crashes and uh, you could probably uh, I don't I think it's too heavy to put onto a drone it's but, like a body cam that the police use yeah it's like a body cam yeah. okay the Fitbit Inspire HR heart rate and fitness tracker that's a that's the classic Fitbit uh, which you wear on your wrist and I uh, it does all kinds of tracking it does have a GPS feature which can be disabled, or you can let the GPS feature uh, track where you've gone and what has happened. I, while it's not a medical device, there have been cases where uh, medical conditions have been discovered, and these have been li real lifesavers. Uh, then there's the Aware Glow C air quality monitor plus smart plug. I, it's not an alarm for things like carbon monoxide, you have to remember that, but I, it detects indoor air quality and then you can connect it up through your home network to do things like kick in your air purifier or uh, some other kinds of devices, an exhaust fan. Now uh, the well, next do you one... Do you know what it actually measures? It What's measures it? several components, uh, several types of indoor air pollution. Mm -hmm. uh, and some are gases, some are particles, mm -hmm. some are dust, some other things. Mm -hmm from what I saw. The Roku streaming player, the Mo Roku Ultra streaming player, it's not their most expensive model, but this is the next step up from the streaming stick. And uh, that will uh, that will require, of course, additional subscriptions, but uh, this is one of the products that they put out that gets consistently good reviews. The Amazon Echo Show 5. Now this takes an Amazon uh, Echo and it adds a video screen so that you can uh, have video chats with people. And uh, sometimes this is recommended for homes that have older people or people who need monitoring to make sure they're doing okay. Uh, then Obens Anti-Pro 2 Gatoron uh, Brown Switch. Uh, it's a mechanical gaming keyboard anyways. <laughs> uh, that mechanical gaming uh, keyboards are usually Bluetooth connected and they have an advantage over regular keyboards in that you have a very short touch to them and you know exactly when you've actually uh, hit a key. And for gamers they like that, uh, that definite sign that there's a response from the keyboard so that they know they've actually clicked on okay. something. For a Twitch that's needed. I'm are we down to me. you. All right. All right. Uh, so we start off with an LED lantern speaker. It's a uh, lantern like you use for camping. Mm -hmm. LED and all this other good stuff. It has a speaker in it, a built in. Um, the the Fizz original uh, portable beer t uh, system. It's the first portable draft beer system. Improves the flavor and taste of ordinary canned bottle or growler beer. What? I, I can't attest to that. I haven't tried it, but that's what it claims. Hmm. Uh, a Casper glow light is uh, it's a self-dimming warm light and it's supposed to help you get to sleep better. Uh, attached to multi-device wireless charger is uh, another in the many chargers we've talked about. This one is Qi certified, and so that's the Qi technology is the kind where you can just take your take a device and put it on something, and because the the, the field <coughs> effect around it, it charges charges the battery as opposed to a cable. And that's does sort that, of... Does pardon? that kind of charging cause any other problems if things are within X number of feet of it? I don't like know. I have one next to my bed, and I don't really have any major problems. <laughs> <laughs> the device would have to be enabled for wireless charging. I'm thinking like a heart monitor. I don't know. I don't know. How it, I suspect it does not interfere, but I don't know. Most different frequency to charge than a cable, I think, in most cases. It's Probably. different frequency they, rates. They charge pretty fast, actually, depending upon the quality. That's a quality thing, yeah. depending upon the quality of the charge you get and uh, how they work, because I've gone through a couple of them. 
Uh, the Google Pixel Buds in-ear wireless headphones. Uh, this is exactly what it says. Uh, it's supposed to get the pretty good sound from them. Mm -hmm. So just yet another earbud and all this stuff. IKEA is in the game with a uh, appropriately <coughs> Nordic sounding name. Uh, a, a table lamp with a Wi-Fi wi uh, wi -fi speaker. Uh, blending in. Bose framed audio sunglasses are kind of interesting. I, I don't know anything about them. They're uh, sunglasses that have built-in mini speakers. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you can be listening to your favorite tunes through your sunglasses and uh, enjoying life. Nano leaf canvas light uh, panel smart, uh, smart, Starter. smarter, smarter <laughs> kit. Uh, these are LED panels that you can configure to use as a decorative accessory in your home. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. We talked about Nintendo Switch earlier. This is a uh, uh, another another one that's uh, handheld. Uh, the Cric Click and Grow Smart Garden uh, self-watering indoor garden. It's a self-watering mm -hmm. device, so that has some technology in it that uh, will keep keep your plants or uh, or herbs, whatever you're growing. Uh, uh, water appropriately, uh, and in the press, uh, Lumio book lamp. It's a uh, a lamp that that looks like a book. You can open it up, and it actually is a light. Pretty interesting looking. Hmm. And you're up. Okay, the next one is an Ember temperature control smart mug. I, it's a design led temperature control brand. Ember ceramic mug. Beautifully designed to be used in your home or at your desk. Use, it keeps your beverage at the perfect temperature from the first sip to the last drop. In other words, it precisely controls the temperature. Is it, is and it USB or plug-in? I, I think it's actually immersion, this one. Okay. Wow. So, so it heats only, doesn't it? It, it heats. The, the mug itself acts as a heating, a self-heating container. Instead of putting this back in your microwave periodically, yeah. you spend $104. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, I, it may be that you can control it with a phone or something. But it says it's good to the last drop. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So then here's the Polaroid uh, Originals One Step Bluetooth Connected That's Instant Polaroid Film Camera. Yeah. The name's been purchased. The, the, the name's been purchased, and, I, and I, I thought actually Fuji owned it, but I don't know. Could be. But anyway, the, the Polaroid brand One Step Plus is an analog instant camera that connects to your smartphone, unlocking a world of creative photography. In other words, this doesn't use physical film in order to do its thing. It, uh, it uses uh, an SD card or uh, an ultra SD card. And generates a physical photo? It says analog, so I don't know what that means. I, it generates a photo, but it is not that it is going to print out on a printer. I by default, by default, it's just gonna like add to your Google Photos collection on your phone, or your or your Drive, or your OneDrive, or whatever you've got, or your iCloud. I, uh, so the Google Nest Hub is their mid-tier Google Smart Home uh, Hub. The Google Hub Max is is their higher end one, which adds the video, and that competes with the uh, Amazon Echo Show and also the Facebook Portal. Uh, the Hub Max is $200, this one's $130 without the video. Gotenna Mesh Off-Grid SMS and GPS Devices. Mesh telephones are the next step from the family radio service, walkie-talkies. This is uh, a smartphone that doesn't use cell towers, and you're completely off the grid. And you have about a four-mile range, and you can but uh, you can make your signal go from one phone to another, and then it can be relayed to other phones, to other phones, to other phones, like we saw the Onion Router do for Tor. I, so that, first of all, it will obfuscate where the call originated if you bounce it around enough. And second, it will provide privacy from any kind of snooping on the cell network. Okay, uh, any others in this category? You can go Okay. The Lumos Smart Bike Helmet. Uh, the safety features in a, it has safety features in a bike helmet with LED lights. 
there's a full stop warning, but the full stop warning is still a beta feature. I suspect what happens is it's supposed to connect with your brake handles, and when you fully brake, it's supposed to light up, and they haven't quite got that working yet. Or an accelerometer. Because, yeah, because this is, could be an accelerometer. This thing is wireless, so it's not directly connected. Uh, the Air Selfie Pocket Size Selfie Flying Camera. This is the one that people who reviewed it said didn't work. I, That's for sure. It's, it's, only a, it's a small drone, and as such, it's not going to be stable in any kind of wind, and it doesn't seem to hold its uh, it, it doesn't seem to hold its altitude quite right either. I probably this is just a software problem that could be fixed by some enter, enterprising person, and I presume it is pro programmable. And then there's the Fossil Hybrid smart, Smartwatch HR Collider. Mm -hmm. The smartwatch is uh, sort of like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch with similar capabilities, and it has a similar base price to the Apple Watch 3. I thought Apple Watches were like six, $700. There is a new generation that's more expensive it's, always. It's like Apple products. As, as they introduce the, the 5, I think they're up to now. Yeah. The, the 4 is last generation, and the 3 is hard to find. So the, uh, it, it becomes more expensive as they, as they uh, get newer. But the old ones are less, less expensive. Yeah. So it, it's comparable to the Apple uh, SmartWatch 3, which is two generations ago. So this is a competing product. So the Motive, uh, ring, the Motive Ring Fitness Sleep and Heart Rate Tracker works like a SmartWatch or a Fitbit, but you wear it as a ring. It goes on your finger. And that's more convenient for sleep monitoring for many people than a wrist band. What does, I, it, do with this? What does it do with the information? It sends it to a smartphone or some other device where it's then recorded. Or the NSA. Yeah, yeah where it's then recorded and yeah. cataloged. Yeah. And you can track your uh, progress. And uh, it's supposed to help you imp improve your sleep by uh, being able to monitor how you're sleeping. So, so you need a smartphone pickup for that? Uh, I believe it does have an app, an app for your smartphone. It just changes what you perseverate about so you can't sleep. Right. Uh, the Simple humor sense, Human Sensor Cam with voice and motion control is a trash can, but you have either with your voice or with the wave of a hand, you can make it open when it's supposed to, and then it'll close when it's supposed to. At least in theory, and if it fails, well, <laughs> you put, have a mess. You put down what you're holding and open up. <laughs> polar, uh, polar running watch with GPS. That's another competitor with Fitbit, and it has PC, Mac, iPad, and modal, mobile compatibilities. Okay, that's the last one in that category. All right, and we're bumping up in price. So uh, these are getting to be some uh, pricier things. The Sony noise canceling wireless earbuds. We talked about the Google product earlier. These are similar. I don't know how they compare. If they compare at all, there may be different features involved in them. The uh, Apple AirPods, again, a similar product. Uh, they deliver active noise cancellation in a way. And again, reviews are uh, subject to the user. The Oculus Quest all in one VR gaming headset. Oculus Quest is a big name in VR and uh, it's supposed to, they're supposed to uh, work very well. VR is kind of interesting. If uh, you don't know anything about it, we can chat a little bit. And the Sirius Mint Heat Touch uh, Hellfire gloves, they're basically electronic gloves. Uh, it has a battery in them, and they have heating elements in them so that uh, you stay warm. You don't have to buy one of those heat packs. And, Excuse and stick me, should we have a talk on virtual reality? Is there enough material out there to make that useful for a full session? If we can find somebody who's involved in developing virtual reality, would it seem like... It's been around for... VR has been around for 40 years. You know, AR is, is more popular these days mm -hmm. in certain spheres. Yes. Augmented reality. So you should probably do both. Well, but they're very different. I'm just going to do it. AR yeah. goes back to the original Google Glass deal. You know, when, right. yeah. you know, when the, you know, people yeah. walking around yeah. and they, they tell you their birthday yeah. Yeah. You know, by looking related. at them. They're related. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, does anybody well, know? Sorry to sort of get off your yeah, subject, but sure. does anybody know of of anyone who might be able to, including somebody in this room, who might be able to pull together material on that on that subject? 
Lexington being the kind of a place it is, mm -hmm. one would think that there'd be people floating around the town with that kind of background. Mm. We can put something on the, uh, on the on the list. We can send yeah, that in. Anybody in the room willing to uh, take this on as a summer mm. camp project and try to go <laughs> find somebody? Mm. You can investigate on the beach in, in, in Florida while you're away for the vacation. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we'll, we'll figure okay. it out. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll find somebody. Continuing right. right along. <laughs> um, and last Wait a minute, did I, not did least, you? I think, is you. Is yeah, I, paid, I back up, I don't know if we did, okay, we didn't do the serious, uh, we didn't. Yeah, that was the, the, the gloves, gloves we just talked about. Okay, yeah. you did the gloves, okay. All right, we're good. Yep. Yeah. And then we have the master and dynamic MW65 active noise canceling wireless headphone. Uh, their headphones. Mm -hmm. So uh, it says it's crafted from premium materials and optimized for the Google Assistant. The noise canceling wireless over the ear headphones feature two active noise cancellation modes that filter out unwanted noise and let you appreciate what you really want to hear. One thing about uh, anything that says it works with Google, uh, it may have Google Translate, which the earbuds we saw earlier have. And so you can actually hear somebody who's speaking a foreign language in your own language, pretty much in real time. Mm -hmm. And uh, these work with Google Assistant, which is their equivalent of Alexa. Does anybody in this room have anything like that that we could play with here? Like a translator? There yeah. are apps you can get for the phone if you have an Android. Yeah. Mm. What, what, Anybody what, done anything with that? What, what, what do you mean? Just using these uh, real-time translation things, John? Yeah. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Google what, Translate. Has somebody actually do it? Google just, Translate. I've, I've used yeah. the Google to Translate. Get, to, get, to get practical, I'm going to Morocco in four months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering whether there's something that maybe I should be buying, mm -hmm. as opposed to merely using um, a cell phone mm -hmm. with an app on it. So Google, the oh. Google Translate that I have, that I use, mm -hmm has ability to hook up to your camera. And when I was in Italy last year... When you I, say camera, you mean like cell phone camera? Cell phone camera. Yeah. And when I was in Italy last year, if the menu was in Italian, I would take the camera and put it on, on the menu, mm -hmm. and it would translate the menu contents in real time, yeah. street signs in real time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And straight with the phone, too. And there are mm -hmm. also, for voice translation, there are standalone devices. And, and they're cheaper than this price range. And Google may have something in terms of voice too, like I, you, you know, if you speak into it, it will translate. I think that's yeah, that's the Google Translate. Would be worth mm -hmm. a half an hour of uh, a discussion if somebody in, in this room is willing to to go out there and pull something together. We can talk a little bit up during the potpourri if you want to see if this uh, mm. expanded session that we can do with that. Again, another thing we could put out onto the mail list for people to give suggestions. I think there's more. Google Nest Learning Thermostat. Is that you or me? That is that would be me because this is Google's flagship Google's flagship product. This can be programmed using programming languages. One of the programming languages is IFTT, and uh, that's if that if that uh, if this, this, this then that. that. Yeah, I and that's an old programming language and kind of mm -hmm. arcane. But Google has a more modular programming language that's sort of like the Alexa skills. And it's got building blocks with which you can build up things that it can do. And it's got categories of devices that are more categories than Alexa has currently. Although it's always evolving. So there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, Demerbox, waterproof, portable, and rugged outdoor Bluetooth speakers. Again, it connects by Bluetooth. And this one is supposed to be weather and water resistant and shock and vibration resistant. And if you go to, if you follow the link, you'll see that it's a big, heavy box. And it's built I uh, like these things that the military would use in the field. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we have Narbox. Narbox. The Narbox Portable Backup and Editing System. This is designed to be used with drones and dash cams. It allows you to take the footage that your dash cam or your drone is taking, and you can edit it, and there are other features, and you can use it in the field 
to do some editing before you upload. Mm -hmm. So that's what the police use to to what to take care of body cam, right? To fix them up. Yeah, to fix up their body cam footage. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Wonderful. It's it's just absolutely wonderful doing that. But uh, theirs goes directly back to a server. <laughs> Sonos Move Smart Speaker. This is a voice controlled wireless recharging water and water resistant speaker. It's a smart speaker, so it can do Alexa, Google, and Apple AirPlay two uh, kinds of networks and commands. So you can teach it to do things. Uh, the Sonos Play 5 wireless smart speaker is a higher quality smart speaker and it's meant to be used in just one place instead of being portable. Uh, okay, what else? And I think you have the last one here. Oh uh, yeah, here's one. The Mural Canvas. The smart art frame with 21 inch HD digital canvas. Uh, there are several frame sizes and several different price ranges for this. This is one of their larger ones, and it's got Wi-Fi. It's by Netgear, so it contains Netgear Wi-Fi, and uh, it's for still photos, not videos, but you can change the photos or change the artwork throughout your house. And uh, there are other options that are way above the price range and would require a lot more uh, in-depth discussion about their features. And those would be PCs, Chromebooks, smartphones, and there are some IoT devices and uh, hubs and things of that nature. Let me add one thing that wasn't on that, this list that my uh, daughter just, uh, just got. Some years ago, there were standard, what I call picture frames. They were, I don't know, nine inches by 12 inches or whatever, and you take photographs and you would put them on a, on a card, and you'd attach the card to the back of this thing, and every three seconds or five seconds, I think it was programmable. I think it this was, one does that. It, yes, but that's really yeah. pricey. Right, oh, yeah. and, and there are different, you, you're exactly right, there's, diff, there's very inexpensive ones, you can, buy, you can buy lots of places, and this is a higher end one, and it depends upon the resolution of the display. Now what I found about the new one that my daughter just got, is that it's hooked, it's hooked up on the, on the web so that supposedly I should be able to take a picture of something and then send it to her frame and I guess add it to, to her so, frame. So it must be hooked up to uh, iCloud or something like that with picture with sharing so that she's she's showing you're you're seeing pictures off the iCloud. I know I don't know how she can how she can then decide that some pictures she doesn't want up there all the time. So if, if somebody sends 200 pictures of their trip to Sicily, and she decides after seeing them a few they, times, they work up, that's you enough. You can send them up to a proprietary site, and then the, you have to give the person a password and a site name for them to do it. Yep. And then they can edit anything mm -hmm. that's up there. Yeah. They have the control over it. So There's lots of different ways of doing it. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a control, but it, it's... It's something in the cloud, I suspect. I'm guessing. The last time I looked at buying my daughter picture frames for real pictures that she had, and I found out that a nice picture frame cost 25 bucks. Yeah. You can very quickly justify one of these units that costs, as I recall, somewhere in the 120, 150 yeah. dollar. For the all smaller sizes. Frames. All, yes. All different prices. This one's the size of a hall mirror. Yeah, and they, and they perfect for Anthony Weiner to send out for his Christmas gifts. Exactly. Yes. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> or, or, or any litany of number of people that have had issues. <laughs> you know, and it, that's why the editing comes in handy. <laughs> Be careful what you sext. Uh, all right, we talked about these. We talked about that. Yes. Um, and so we we don't have to go into these uh, in detail unless you want to. Uh, one interesting thing, uh, the last one, I just happened to hear something about it on the radio the other day, so I stuck it, stuck it in here. The Mozilla Foundation, which is uh, open source and public, they have a, a, a website, uh, Privacy Not Included, and it talks about various IoT devices and the information they keep and don't keep. And apparently, a few years ago, about 20% of the products that were available were good, were, were good, I'm going to use the word good, in that they didn't keep your personal information. Mm -hmm. 
I think the number I heard recently was 70%. So that the industry is going forward and making some changes. Uh, on one item I happened to look at on there, the comment was that the product was made dumber. They took out the, uh, the part that sends the information up to the cloud and gets stored there somewhere to, to be processed in some way. And that's the way they made the device more private. I read a blog that said that when you have people over to your house, if you have one of these Echo or one of these other devices. My thermostat keeps answering my friends. You should either turn it off or inform your guests that everything they say may be recorded. Hmm. I don't do either, I just sell it. There's some question about whether those recordings are retained and who actually listens to them, mm -hmm. and that has been changing. So you have no control over that, right? And they can you always don't. update the software so well, the security is worse. Well, it's just like, just like, it's just like Siri on the phone. Yeah. It's always listening by default. Well, unless you turn it off, but it's it's listening. If you have it on, it's always listening for the uh, for the wake up word. You know, hey Siri, yeah. or whatever you use. Mm -hmm. The Amazon, the Amazon uh, product should be listening for the word Alexa as well, or whatever your your. But if it's listening for something, then then in some sense mm -hmm. it's hearing everything. Yeah. But it's the question yeah. is, that processing is being done locally but allegedly. The, but the point that I'm making is is that lawyers have said. It's just smart that if you have visitors in your house, particularly yeah. children, that yeah. you should either unplug these things, assuming that unplug has the same meaning that it used to have, um, or at least warn people that, that you have these devices. With Echo, it has LEDs on the device, and you can manually turn it off, and a colored LED indicates it's no longer listening. Mm -hmm. Other devices by other brands may not have that mm -hmm. feature. I don't know how it is with uh, Google. Google whether they a indicate slide switch on, yeah. on, the, on the mini unit. And is there an LED indicator when it's definitely not listening? It yeah. doesn't have. Yeah, there is. But you know, who knows whether they're listening or not listening? No, when it, when that LED is on, uh, the company would be in big legal trouble if it weren't yeah. actually mm -hmm. off. Well, you know, the, the, the basic watchword with this stuff is just because you're not paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So just leave that. And uh, <laughs> just one more comment about Bluetooth. Keyboards. Remember, that is an input device. So uh, Bluetooth pairing is not the only issue. The issue is also encryption. And on older Bluetooth, the encryption has been hacked. So somebody can get in the middle and control your computer. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I, if you have Bluetooth 4 or 5, those are still considered reasonably secure. Mm -hmm. hmm. And most Bluetooth keyboards won't tell you which Bluetooth version they're using. You have to guess unless it says LE, which has to be generation 4 mm -hmm. or 5. Now at one point we were going to have a talk, I think Peter was pulling it together, on the risks of using things like cell phones for hooking into uh, brokerage accounts. Mm -hmm. I was, huh? <laughs> now, cell phone. <laughs> well, somebody was somebody was talking about doing it. Yeah. But, but, I can, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, I know that I'm paranoid on all these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And for what it's worth, I. I I just don't like the idea of something in my house recording everything that's going on. Yeah. And I don't like the idea of using a cell phone to hook up to something important like a bank or a brokerage firm. But everybody does things differently. I mean, my son does his bank accounts over his cell phone and sends in checks. And I think people who are under 40 do things differently than people our age. Cell phone communications are encrypted, and by law, you're not supposed to be able to obtain any kind of device that can listen in on cell phone frequencies. Now, people can modify a device so that it will be able to do that, and state actors will do what they will do. Mm -hmm. But it has to be pretty sophisticated to intercept cell phone. Mm -hmm. So for the next hour, do you want to go back to the early pages and that's exactly what I want to do. I, I, was just, of I was just going to go here and uh, you know 
the usual stuff is just here's where we got the information. So if you want to do the research at home, you can follow these links and you can get more in-depth discussion of, of the products. Mm -hmm. That said, we can go back to questions. We can go all the way back up here and we can start here and we can just work our way down. If you have questions, want to go details, we'll jump yeah, into can each we, one. Can we start on, on Thailand? I remember some years ago, there's a, there's a store that's over at, the mall, at all the malls that sells clever techie things, from the massaging beds and uh, other things. Can't school. remember the name of the... Brookstown? Yes, Brookstown. Okay. We need school. And they had things yeah. that you could attach, for example, oh, to your key Do or to your cell phone. Because I'm constantly looking around for my keys or my cell phone and then or one of those other things. So there's, there's, there's a relative size for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keychain, keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're relatively small. And uh, they can also be used for tracking pets, children, and mm -hmm. older people. So what do you, what do you learn? If I, if I put this down someplace, does it tell me within a couple of feet of where it is? Or is it yeah, and you might be able. Or what does it do? It will alert you to where. Uh, it alert on. you to where it is. You can find it. You can use it as a finder. And how does it put out? A, a, I think a there's voice? an app. There's an app. There and is an app. The app may have features, or and I've heard from many of these mm -hmm. that the apps have features where, I uh, if you're trying to track like a pet or a kid or an older person. If they get out of a certain range and break the range, an alarm will sound or an alert will come to you. And you will know that what you're trying to track has gone out of range. Mm -hmm. When something comes within range and you're trying to find it, it'll beep and it'll, uh, the tone will get louder as you get closer, you know, warmer, colder. And it's a network effect. If somebody else has a similar device, it'll, it'll gather the information if somebody goes near it. Yeah, if left out in the woods, somebody else could walk by it, and then it may not I think it. these can be tuned to different frequencies. Can I, can I say something? Yeah. I actually own it. Oh. Okay. okay. So <laughs> what do they do? How do they work? <laughs> anyway, like for example, my keys, I lose my keys a lot. So you put the tile on it, and then you can actually get, get the app or something. You can click it, it makes a noise, so you can find it. Oh, the, the, actual, the actual tile, the tile. Has, has a small device in it that makes a noise? Yeah, yeah. it'll make a yeah. noise. So All right. can, it has a speaker. It. Mm -hmm. What's the battery life on that? Oh, I, I don't know. It's been a while because I haven't used it for a long time. It, it might be more advanced now. Now, would there be it, batteries inside each tile? Right. It, it, oh, yeah, there's a, that's true. The, there is a battery life. I don't know what it is, and they yeah. don't that it's going According to, According to this, the, the first two, the Pro and the Mate, it's a one-year battery. Mm -hmm. Whether it really lasts that long or not, you know, yeah. that's clear. Yeah. And the other, the other two uh, have three-year three -year batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, the question earlier was the range, and there's, there's information on that. Yeah. How does it not that I mean, you, you misplace your, say you misplace your key. Do you have to use your cell phone to ask for it, or yeah. what? Yeah, and uh, as you get closer, it's a louder you know, ring. If it's upstairs and you're downstairs, can you hear it? <laughs> no, but, you, but if you know you're, you're missing something and you're clicking, you walk around to find it. You just walk around the house to do it. It makes yeah. a noise on your... On your phone? On the device. On the device itself. Yes, but if yeah, I was my cell lost. phone in my car, for example. <laughs> right. Um, I'm wondering about, about distance. You know, that's down mm -hmm. in the garage. The car door is locked. You know, I'm not going to be able to hear anything at that distance. So is there anything so GPS-y about, yes, about this? Because I left so. my keys in the car, which I happened to park down by the church parking lot. Finding range. Right oh, okay, house. yep. So then, then I was going oh. crazy. I, I was losing everything. So then I just, I could see it on the GPS that was down the hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So then I thought, okay, so keep it. I find my car. phone. Then I went down the hill. Could you do us a favor? To bring it in. Are you gonna, yes. Oh. Next <laughs> week, you're going to be here? Yes. With the December 18th potpourri. Okay, I'll bring it in. Bring, bring it in. Let's that. stick one on Michael. Let him, run, let him wander around. We, we can play Where's Waldo. Yes. Let him wander around the community center yeah. and he'll try to find it. Okay. I assume I can see. Interface is with your cell phone. And what if you can't find your cell phone? Is it interface with something else? Well, uh, a phone can actually notify you of where it's at if you can't find it. Yeah. To the battery that's yeah. out. 
Yeah. Different. Find my find my phone is a typical thing there's, to use on the, on, the, on the Apple. I'm told that there's a right. Samsung device also, but I, I mm. don't know what it is. I don't know either. Well, there there is something different about phone finders, and that is they use GPS. So they tell you the actual location where your phone mm -hmm. is at. And they can tell you to within three feet. Then you have to guess. <laughs> then you have to hit the you have to use the app and it'll do the same thing. It'll just beep and But if you're inside an louder. apartment building with steel girders, does the GPS still work? I don't think GPS would be as good there as Wi Fi, uh, as Bluetooth. Does GPS Bluetooth work? works a lot better indoors. GPS works in, indoors to a certain extent. GPS mm -hmm. does. Cell yeah. signals do not. All right. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that if it's in a, say your, something is stolen and it's, it can track the GPS to a building, that, it's, that's still fraud. It could be in any apartment. You still yeah. Don't know how to get it. Right, right. You know, Maybe yeah. when you bring this in, if you could leave a tile in your car when you park <laughs> and then bring the device into this room mm -hmm. and we can see what it does when a car is. I have to you know, a couple hundred yards away. away. Okay. And that sounds like a really practical thing. Or yeah. let's say you're taking a, your mm -hmm. grandkid to Disney World or something. That's not working on Bluetooth if it can use the GPS. No, right. GPS and Bluetooth are different. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, They're just different that. devices. I'll, I'll, I'll just bring it in. We'll check it out. We'll yeah, the tiles are Bluetooth, so they're yeah. meant for indoor use. Yeah. So. When it first came out, I got it as a Yankee swap gift, and nobody wanted it. <laughs> so, okay. so go back to the prices for a second. It's it's something something per tile, and then twenty five. For one. Twenty five dollars for one. For one what? Tile. Tile. Mm -hmm. One tile plus this monitor or whatever it is. Well, I think the, the, so the software is, is in app. It's free. What's I, that round thing? It is? uses that's a Google Hub. It uses the Google Hub as its receiver. So do you need to have a Google Hub for this? I or? believe you do need no. something. Cindy's saying Google no, Nest. it works on your phone, right? A phone? I have a Google Hub. Okay. okay, so it does not need a Google Nest, but it can use a Google Nest. Right. right but they have a case over here where you're talking to the thing. Say, hey, Google, ring, ring my remote. Right. Yeah. It's another integration path. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go there. Right. Cindy says you don't need it. Do you have the specs on I that? I don't have it. So. <laughs> well, the specs it, that we it have does have specs. We're down here a little bit. Yeah. These kind of specs. Is it all we, only Bluetooth? Yeah, these are only Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. I, so, when you're trying to find your phone, it, that's different. The phone does use GPS. Mm -hmm. See, when it talks about range, 400 feet, that's that's probably Bluetooth because that's like a Bluetooth range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 400 feet doesn't help you find where you park your car. No. 400 feet is no. a football field. Yeah. Yes, but if, if I go to a restaurant or down to New York and I park yeah. my car mm. and I've forgotten where my car is. It's probably in Long Island by then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well that's why I was that's why I was interested in how far this thing really works. Yeah. Except that it talks to other devices. If somebody else has the same device, then it actually will, will switch off and, and talk to their device and send the information to a central server how it works. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mesh effect. So as more people buy the unit, then there's more coverage. It's not just your device that has to talk to it directly. And by the, way, each, by the way, as with any Bluetooth pairing, Pardon each me. device, uh, each tile, each tile has its own unique pairing code. Mm -hmm. So find my this or that will pair to a unique mm -hmm. tile mm -hmm. because of pairing. Oh, because of how pairing works. All right. Have we yet? Have we killed this? Yeah, young lady. Can we, when you get ready to take more like questions, I have a question. Yeah, you're up. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. So what I need now is some kind of sensor to find a bike. I bought a, a, my grandson a bike for Christmas. Okay. And it's a good bike. And his previous bike was stolen. So I really want to find, is there anything out there? That for what? Bikes? To do what? To find a bike. Find a bike. Well, let's let's look let's look at this for example. Mm -hmm. If you took one of these, that's only four hundred feet. Just or do it, but that's that's, so this is Bluetooth, so we can't do that. Yeah. No, you would need one of the GPS devices, so, and there are several on the market. Let's try to use the potpourri on twelve eighteen. 
as an opportunity to discuss in some detail yeah. some of the things, particularly the things that people have. So Ken mentioned that he has some little chip in his cat. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I have one of my dog. So, so I want to discuss that now, but I thought, yeah. you know, what I asked him to do is if he could pull together five minutes or ten minutes on that, and if you have a similar thing. The chip, but the chip is not a find my deal. I, like, yeah. I can't get it. Well, I don't know what it does. does. That's why right. it's interesting. No, it's yeah. like the barcodes. It's, 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 just, it's just an ID. If, you, if yeah. you're scanned, it comes up with a number that gives you who it is. Oh, that's that's it. Yeah. 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 I heard about Lojack, which police, a GPS yes. thing yeah. they put on a That's car. GPS. Right. Yeah. And that that is GPS, <laughs> and <laughs> something like that may have been developed since then for bicycles. There is a Lojack yeah. I type. It's like a tile device, yeah, but right. there are Lojack devices that you can clip onto just about anything. Like a cat? And yeah. I, or you kid. can put it on yeah. a cat's tag mm -hmm. or a dog's tag. Yeah. Then you'd know where the tag went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think I remember hearing that Disney was actually renting out something at their parks yeah. that you could associate with your child. Yeah, a kid finder. Mm -hmm. Big, big burly guys. Uh, no, they, they do have, they have the, these kid finders. And uh, your kid gets one when you uh, walk in and uh, you turn it in when you leave. And then if you get separated from your kid, it'll identify where in the park your kid is. But with the, with the enormous number of people with Alzheimer's now, yes, and the number is increasing as the elder population increases, this would seem to be something that you would want to put on yeah. people that meet certain medical conditions. Uh, GPS tracking, and there may be one that uses cell phone frequencies. Uh, you remember those one button things that I, I've fallen and I can't get up? Yeah, sure. Those? Yeah, yeah. I, there are those that can be used for tracking. Now the problem with that, at least a few years ago, I bought one for my mother who at the time was 93. Yeah. We had to do some extra work uh, with, with additional receivers just so that it could be picked up in all corners mm -hmm. of her apartment. Because her yes. apartment was kind of long. Mm -hmm. And you had to put things on the far end. And I know that it did not work if she left the house. Oh. That means it was using some kind of near field, but not using GPS like or Bluetooth cell. Or something but like this was that. seven yeah. years ago. Right. Yeah. So no, my, my dad was on a cell yeah, phone. Right? And, and, and you know, if he actually bang it, the, the police would come over and find him. Wow, well, okay. Mm -hmm. But I, there's a technology they, out there. There's a technology out there, because I know I work at an enhanced computer. In transit disability, you know, you can get a chip that's ex you know that's pre-COVID, and yeah. you can have it uh, activated by a satellite. It's exactly the same principle as when you wear one of those the devices, you know, the for senior citizens who have Alzheimer's and stuff like that. You trigger it, and then it comes down, and then it goes up, and then you you have to look on your computer or, or whatever. But you can buy something like that <coughs> for your bicycle. Mm -hmm. You should be able to. It, it, yeah. Probably, probably the right thing to do, Cindy, is yeah. if you Google that, they'll probably get you know three pages worth of stuff on yeah. products. I'm going to stop at the bike shop. Yeah. I'll report back yeah. to. And is, uh, uh, is that called spot. in transit yeah. tracking? Is that in transit tracking you were talking about? Oh my, my, it, it was in transit visibility. In transit all kinds visibility. Of air, land, and sea. If I can, I, what I'd like to do is we can get it, we can go down rabbit holes of different technologies. That's fine, right. yeah. but let's try to see if there's other questions about things we can. That's why I'd like to use December 18th as the yeah. opportunity yeah. to take some of these subjects. And if there's anybody in the room who'd be willing to put together five minutes mm -hmm. on whatever their their favorite one is, let's just talk about it. And and, I'll, and uh, next week when we come back on the 18th when we when we have this, I'll. Uh, make sure I bring my laptop and I'll have this presentation so if we want to revisit any of these in detail we can do that as well if we don't get to them today. Yeah, the 18th the is two weeks from now. The smart wall plug. Pardon me? The smart wall plug. Yeah. Yes. Yep. This one? That's Bluetooth A I, and I assume like, for example if it's working with the Google. No, no. I, the smart plugs are a whole family of IoT devices that work by Wi-Fi. 2.4 gigahertz. The, the Wi-Mo or stuff like that was the other one, right? So, um, yeah. if you've got one that's compatible with Android, 
it would work with the Google Assistant, I assume. Oh, yeah. So it's connecting within the house with Google Assistant by a Wi-Fi network. So you don't it's Wi-Fi. But how does the Google Assistant make a decision on whether to turn it on or off? That has to go back to the... Well, there's two things you can do. You can program so that it's preset to do things or random. I, and there are programming languages you can use. It's over here. I, the other thing you can do is use a smartphone app, and so you're basically calling your hub over the cell phone network. So I can't say to my Google uh, smart device that exists in my thing, hey Google, turn on the light in the living room. That won't with, work. With, this, with this device you can. That's exactly what this does. You can either you, you plug yeah. this into the outlet. It is a it is basically a a, a little de, a Wi-Fi device with a switch. You say, "Hey Google, turn on my living room lights." If it's plugged in over here, the light goes on. Is it doing it through the plug itself? The plug is a switch. The plug is a receiver from your hub, mm -hmm. and the hub is either a smart speaker or a Nest or whatever. And uh, most of these will work with any of the major brands, Amazon, uh, Google, mm -hmm. or Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple's a little less common. You can control from anywhere, plug in, plug in the smart plug, download the app and control your lights from your voice through Alexa and all that, all that stuff. Um, you can schedule it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's Wi-Fi connected. Right. So it's voice control if you like, and it works with the Apple HomeKit. So it's Wi-Fi connected, but you can also phone in remotely. Because it's so on your phone. So you have to physically have the device plugged into this somehow. Right. So if I have yeah. a house that has seven rooms in it, yeah. and lights in each room coming off switches and stuff, yeah. I'd have to run a lot of wires. No. No, 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 no wires. No. You, you this is wireless. You, you plug this, you plug, is there a picture here? In the local area. You plug the lamp yeah. into, plug yeah. it, and then you run an app that See, discovers there, all the devices, there, and then you John, figure your network there, and There's how it works. You, you plug in the little box to the outlet, mm -hmm. and you plug your lamp into the little box. So I need a wire. And now I've got another lamp in the bedroom. Another yeah, it's just I, another uh, smart it, plug. It, it, if, you, if you get in a sophisticated house, you get this technology built into the outlet that the, elect, that the electrician installs. So then, so then what I started saying is correct. If I've got lights in seven rooms... You, you don't need, need wires, seven of these. You need seven of I these. Need, I need one of two things. I either need one of these and a lot of wires, or I need seven of these, one for each room. So but, yeah, but the first op, just to be sure, clear. The first option, one of those and a lot of wires, means that, hey, you know, hey Google, turn on the lights. You can light up everything on, <coughs> yeah, at, with one at one time. It's like putting one switch on the whole house, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Versus seven different ones. Yeah. Turn on the basement. Turn on the bedroom. Turn on the kids' room. Turn on the kitchen. So then, from a cost standpoint, to do what they want to do on on bullet one, if I've got seven rooms in the house, yeah, I'm up to uh, two hundred dollars. Of, uh, mm -hmm. of plugs. Maybe they give you yeah, a right or, or you can buy you can buy bulbs that are enabled too. So I click on the mini uh, three pack the, the demo because if you get more than one, you get a discounted price. Right. Mm -hmm. me, John. I just bought. See, a see it's line. three for sixty seven, and then it goes down from there. You can, per and, unit. and this is just, this is just uh, you know one site and all this other stuff. I'm but just so, trying to understand. Yeah, it. and yeah. Wemo is is a is a reputable brand in, in home in home mm -hmm. connectivity. They, they've been around for a long time, yeah. and, they, and they do a good job. That much I can tell you. And I'll tell you something. No, these are not cheap if all you want to do is control a lamp. But if you consider it to be a security device, or if you've got other things that are more sensitive and have to be turned on and off at certain times in order not to burn something, right. then yeah. it becomes more and more worth your while. Yeah. Peter? Hello. You, is there any indication of how many amps this thing can control? Uh, let's find out. A good question. Most of them would be good on a 15 amp circuit. Yeah. I would no, think. I mean, could it take 15 amps? No. Oh, I would hope so. And there are some specialized ones There's you can use on an appliance circuit, which would be 20 amps. But these are not those. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I happen to know from my IoT research there are different grades of them. 15 amps, right here. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. These are 15. Yeah. Why have they only got three and a half stunts? 
Huh? They're expensive. <laughs> uh, some people will complain about anything they have to program, sure. saying, mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out how to program it, therefore it doesn't work. This is, this is the one with the light switch. I don't know, I don't know what the actual product, the original one we looked at was. Uh, let's go with this. John, I can give you five minutes on the smart lock that I installed in my house. It's great. It's Wi-Fi enabled. It'd be great. Yeah, those are interesting things too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Could I ask a question on, on, on when you search any one of these? There's a good question about the stars. <clears throat> it would just because I, I always look at the I always look at those ratings too for these products. Right. Before I, before I go. Now it would seem to me that if you receive a product and it works fine, how motivated are you to put a review? Me, not at all. If you get something that, for whatever reason, doesn't work, the yeah. one in 10,000 that doesn't work, yeah. you're really mad, you're really aggravated, and you're going to put up that review. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of fake That's reviews. That's a of the There's a lot of fake and reviews. And, 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 and anger and a whole industry. response. Yeah. So it would seem that those and stars might be rated yeah. more heavily for a, 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 a yeah. probability of a star being put up would be more on a one star than a five star. Well, yeah. let's balance that against the fact that many of the Amazon reviews are paid for. And people are paid an incentive yeah. to give a good review. How do I get that? <laughs> and uh, you can, uh, when you order it, I once got an offer from a vendor from Amazon to be paid or get a discount next to order or get free stuff if I would give them a good review. Mm -hmm. I declined and reported them to Amazon. Nothing got done about them. Yeah. So, and there are also places that just crank out yeah. reviews, mm -hmm. like yeah. a bot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there also, there Jerry, rooms of care to do it. Excuse me, man. Jerry. To your point, <laughs> in, in terms. Jean Gregory to the front desk, please. Jean Gregory to the front desk. The thing to do is your your reviews can be biased one way or the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing to do is, if once you identify a product you like, you can certainly search for my latest gizmo reviews. I do that too, yeah. And, and yeah. you can even put the year on it in case, yeah. it, in mm -hmm. case it goes for a while. Yeah. I find and those you, better. And you can go to multiple sites with people with different biases, and they review them, and you can compare the reviews. And if everybody on the different sites with different biases seems to be saying the same thing, you can be sure that that information mm -hmm. probably is valid versus, you know, one person saying, you know, this it didn't work when I plugged it in, you know, yeah. and everybody else saying it's the best thing since sliced bread. It, you can tend to discount. The, the There's another thing that you can also do. If it's only been reviewed by 17 people, uh, you don't have quite the confidence as yeah. if it's been reviewed by 8,700. But, but yeah. I, I, I often things. do, and this is not, not just with devices, <clears throat> but say hotel reviews, stuff like that, is that I'll uh, look at the one stars. And the two stars yeah. and find out why. And why? Yeah. Find out yeah. why. Exactly. Yeah. Find out whether they're just grumpy or whatever. Yeah. Right. And then a lot of times, and then and then look at the five stars, five stars and sample those. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times the five stars will say it worked, or you know I just yeah. opened, I opened it up. It seems to do what it wants to do. You have no idea. You know they have no idea what they were. Right. That's right. The one star review could have been, I didn't like Bob the Bellboy with dirty fingernails. Yeah. What, what I do is, if it's a commodity <laughs> item that yeah. raises that, if it's an item that has uh, a thousand reviews or more, mm -hmm. I look at the percentage that were ones. And if the percentage is 6%, or yeah. that's pretty good. If yeah. the percentage is 20%, that's very bad. Right, and it's, it's everybody's personal, sure. personal yeah. threshold. Yeah. You know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And I think this is an excellent discussion mm -hmm. about stuff, you know, in general, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that you look at reviews, you look, it's like anything else. What's fake news, what's real news? You, have, you look at something, mm -hmm. it's interesting to you, mm -hmm. you've got to find out more information. Just because something got five stars yeah. doesn't mean that they're all by the, you know, the guys in the inventor's sister-in-law or something yeah. like that. You, you know, you don't know. I'll give you a sidebar to it for Waze. How many people use Waze in this room? Okay, most people. Waze sometimes will find the street ne that's next to my street as a really good shortcut to get between two major roads, mm -hmm. yeah. which is a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I have learned mm. that there are, you know how in Waze you can put in there's a traffic accident in such and such a place, <laughs> and a police stop. <laughs> I've heard that people that live on the street yeah. 
that's being abused by ways. They say it's construction? They put in they put in notices about construction, police <laughs> hiding in the woods, and all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. When yeah. Waze gets enough of those, there's some sort of a volume criteria that I don't understand. But when Waze gets enough complaints about something, then it gets posted and it gets tied into their into their algorithm, and then all of a sudden that street is no longer the recommended way to get from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. There's also Waze has recently introduced cities, municipalities can contact Waze and say, don't list this street. Yeah. That's true. And private really? ways in yeah. Massachusetts are often listed that way. Private uh, ways rather than public streets. Oh. Back, back to the subject at hand in the last 15 minutes. Other products, things people want to talk about? Anything they saw? Oh, we're going to devolve into a, a potpourri here. Look <laughs> to the next page. Next page? Yeah, you're interested. Okay. Okay. Uh, lots of things. Pick one. Uh, well, I don't remember. I'm going to go through it. So I'm Pick looking at something. Do you remember what it was about? Two thirds of the way. No, I don't remember. Two thirds of the way through it. Okay. Some of these are really weird. Yeah. A lot of speakers. Yeah. Yeah. This, you don't like the uh, skin track UV thing? Yeah, I do. My <laughs> ears. You know why that's actually good? Is it waterproof? Oh, yeah. Yes. Water resistant. I, actually, I lived in Hawaii for years, and that's actually a good thing to have because a lot of kids surf. And yeah. It's a great thing to own. What is? Hmm. Yeah. Well, will you recommend this? UV tracker. The UV okay. tracker. If, if, if it goes around your neck, that would be good. It does. Yeah. It does. And I think it can also be clipped in such a way it will stay with a wetsuit or something, or with a yeah, swimsuit. So as long as your suit oh, stays That's another on. aspect of, of the nice tile thing we talked about earlier. Uh, was this it? No, no, I don't want to enjoy my... No, thanks. No, 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 that isn't it. <laughs> oh, yes. But anyway, uh, there's something about... The oh, there's a, different, there's a different tracker that competes with the tile. Yeah, yeah there's lots of different trackers. Uh, I'm not a $100 brother. here. Oh. Uh, keep over, going? Over 100, yeah. yeah. It was over 100? Over 100. That's the afternoon right. page. Hmm. Nobody's interested in the uh, portable draft view system? <laughs> that shows up. That shows Bring it in, we'll try it. I don't know what Growler view is. Growler is when you, when you get uh, the this, this small metal container. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Growler. Okay. It's just a, just a size thing. It's not a keg, it's a growl. It's, it's like a mini keg. If you, if you have a, a frat party in your house and there's only three people, you get a growl. <laughs>